Hello. Harry Potter. There it is. Hello, friends and sex pests. Welcome to another episode of False Starts Podcast. Episode 13. We are officially teenagers now, so expect mood swings, violent outbursts, and spunk everywhere. Business as usual. Mm -hmm. Stealing alcohol from your parents. Sweet. <laughs> Joining me as ever are Dan, the man they call... Dan. And Ashley, the man they call Pinhead. <laughs> 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 Gentlemen. Mm. If you could secrete a sauce, any sauce, what sauce would you secrete, Ashley? Rick and Morty Szechuan sauce. Dan. Uh, smoky bacon barbecue sauce. I would secrete the Sauce Brothers, as I would then own their giant ocean towing company. Do the theme tune! I was not groomed since birth to have some cushy job that even a moron like you could perform <laughs> while you were still learning how to spell your name. Right. Let's let's stave off talking about the movie uh, that we're mm. here to talk about. What movie? Fucking jam you in the neck for this. Let's stave it off by talking about the last episode and talking about Mario Brothers, the movie. Yay! Uh, regular listeners will know at the end of every episode, we pitch an in-universe sequel to the movie we review. A poll goes up on Twitter and you guys vote on it. It's a cheap and obvious way to interact with you listeners. It makes us seem more friendly and open to interaction than we actually are. And the winner of said poll for best Mario sequel was... Ashley! Wahoo! With 44% of the votes for his Doki Doki Panic sequel. Wee. I was robbed. You were robbed. You had an 80% lead for the first two days. I was so robbed. But I think there was I a bit of a, a Twitter comeback when they realised it was an in-universe. And it didn't Fuck pick up. Off. Didn't pick up from Half the legit of point. Half in a dream, which Eat is in shit. universe Eat for both shit. the games, and it was new for the universe Look. in the second film. We brought something new for the audience. I'm drinking a lot of wife beer here. Let's just mm. all agree that the listeners were once again wrong, <laughs> because they they didn't pick me. Mario versus Donkey Kong bites the raid. Come on, you fuckers. Yeah, I just got watched the raid. Thanks. Anyway, yeah. anyway, I mean, uh, should, we, should we like move on? Because I don't want to. Because I don't fucking like this film. Let's move on. Horrible. Come on, film. let's just get it done. We're here to talk about the 2000 motion picture film Battlefield Earth. I watched this film two times. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to do it in one sitting <laughs> because when we were supposed to, pulling back the curtain here, when we mm -hmm. were supposed to record, I'd left it till the night before. I was up to half 11 watching this film. I and told I regret you. it. I told you both that you are going to need to schedule in some breaks. Leave well, I'll be yourself. With you, now I can, in fact, spell my name <laughs> properly. So it's all good. So, Battlefield Earth. Rat Boy! <laughs> <laughs> Battlefield Earth, or as John Travolta calls it, Star Wars but better. What? The Schindler's List of sci fi films. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not a joke. Uh, oh. Now, you know what this film Fuck is? Right off. There are two films that this film remind me of straight away. Mm. Go on. Independence Day. That's <laughs> wrong. Planet of the Apes. So not Star Wars and Schindler's List. Not at all. Uh. Wait, wait, sorry. You called it Battlefield Earth. Can we give it its proper title? <laughs> Battlefield Earth, a saga of the year 3000. A sorry, that's saga. what that is what I will refer to it as from yeah. henceforth. That's, Thank you. That's the name. Would you guys like a bit of background or do you want to jump right in? Uh, give us give us some background. I'll give you some background. Give us some science-based background. I'll give you some background. So it's based on the 1982 novel by L. Ron Hubbard. Blessed be he. Blessed oh, be he. Oh, God. <laughs> the rights were sold to the Church of, uh, sorry, by the Church of Scientology in 1983 with plans to make two movies around in the 80s for $15 million each. Mm. This failed first attempt got far enough into production <laughs> that there was a competition. Competition was run to win an all expensive paid trip to walk, to win a walk on part on the film. Wikipedia. Forrest Whitaker. Oh, I was going to say that. <laughs> One by Forrest Whitaker. Is that why he's in this film? Wikipedia says that in 84, the Scientology officials erected a 30 foot tall inflatable Fuck. turl on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> anyway, I can't, I can't find any photographic evidence 
to back that up. I can't find any photos of a 30 foot tall inflatable turtle on Hollywood Boulevard. Just, but just, just, they just ran my hose up to Volta's If you off. have evidence, please sweet it to us because I would love to see that. I doubt they do because the only evidence I could find of this even being a thing was at the US Copyright Office. <laughs> it was copywritten as an idea in 1985 and because they loved it so much, copywritten again in 1999 to promote this movie. <laughs> what? An inflatable John Travolta? A 30 foot tall inflatable John Travolta. Once again, couldn't find a picture of it. So if anyone can, please do send us in. Anyway. I absolutely want to see a picture of that. I hope it's in the Scientology building. <laughs> just as you go in the front gate. Like, it's like, na 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 na. Just the <laughs> version of Buddy Christ. No, do you know what it is? It's behind the room you go into and you can talk directly to Travolta through it like a massive telephone. Stop praying to inflatable John Travolta. John Travolta got his own problems. Like Wizard of Oz. <laughs> like Korean Jesus from You look behind the 30 foot tall inflatable John Travolta and it's just regular John Travolta. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that whole production went under. Obviously. Shocker. This, so this false start already has a false start. <laughs> a decade later, fresh off of Pulp Fiction, they try again. And this movie becomes John Travolta's baby. They attempted to set, set it up at Fox and MGM and it fell through. And one nameless studio executive in the book Fiasco, which is a great book, by the way, said, and I quote, Scientology just wasn't something anyone really wanted to get involved with. It's a fair point. Mm-hmm. Fair point. We've all seen, we've all seen the Panorama documentary. <laughs> so it's John Travolta's baby, and eventually the project was taken over by Franchise Pictures, who are a company you may not know the name of, yeah, but they are them. they are a company whose sole purpose it is to suck the stars' dicks, inflate their egos, and give them money to make amazing passion projects like A Murder of Crows, which has 0% on Rotten Tomatoes, or Boondock Saints, which has 20% on Rotten Tomatoes, or the Stallone remake of Git Carter, which has 13% on Rotten Tomatoes, or The Whole Ten Yards, or Ballistics for X vs. Sever, which is another 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> when, when you say... That's franchise pictures, everybody. So do they have that name because they desire to make franchises? I've not a fucking clue, but remember the name. Yes. They will come up again later. <laughs> I digress. The movie was set up from there and John Travolta takes a pay cut from his standard $20 million fee, Fuck. which he definitely doesn't have in these days. <laughs> For science, Jesus. He put in $5 million of his own money and the movie still costs $75 million to make. Fucking hell. Wait, Look at this movie. Wait, Seventy-five million. Seventy-five million dollars. Did that just was the reported go on budget. a blue sheet to go in front of the camera to symbolise <laughs> they were on another planet? Is that all that went to? Fuck no. Because it didn't go to the to. editor. I could tell you that much that, right now. Oh Jesus! No, we'll the get The money that. didn't go anywhere on screen. Anyway, being friendly, John Travolta tries and fails to hire Quentin Tarantino to direct this movie. <laughs> Tarantino said no. Shock. No shit. So they opted for Roger Christian, the second unit director of Star Wars Episode (laughs) One, And the movie went into production. (laughs) Let's get started, shall we? Right. Battlefield Earth. The very first thing. So it's on Amazon Prime video. I watched (laughs) it. Blammers and Blame. They can pay us. I watched it on that. Hmm. And they... Every now and then they'll pull out bits from IMDb trivia to come up on the corner. Yeah. Yes. And the first thing it you says keep is... that shit on? Uh, no, because it was the first thing that came up. My mouse was already on the screen okay, just pressing okay. play. Um, and the first thing that comes up says, Forrest Whitaker has expressed his regret at appearing in this <laughs> film. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's perfect. I wanted to bet those are not the words he used. <laughs> you know what I like? The music in this, right? No, you didn't. No, no, the music in this. Okay. I have a point about this. He very clearly just watched Terminator. Yes. And just mm. went, I'm going to do Terminator, but not. Yes. <laughs> so I, I, mean, I watched this movie on Amazon Prime as well. Dan, where did you, where did you watch it? From a totally legal video <laughs> watching site. Amazon, Amazon Prime, Prime as well. Amazon Prime, yes. So, okay. We all watched it on Amazon Prime. And I realised later in, in, when I'm doing my research that there is another opening to this movie. The German mm-hmm. one. There's an English one. It has a massive wall of green text on yeah. a black screen. Yeah, yeah. I do not remember this. It's because it's not there on the Amazon Prime version. 
and it explains like a whole bunch of things like who the cyclos are that they mine metal and teleport it home and that gold is the rarest and most valuable of all metals the one that we watched doesn't have that the one that we watched just goes the title battlefield earth a saga of the year 3000 man is an endangered species ellipses here's the movie yeah but <laughs> I tells mean, you fuck all. I had no idea what was happening in that movie throughout. Because it sets the fuck all happens. up and just starts. And to give the movie credit, at the end of the film, you know full well that they're mining metals and gold is obviously a very valuable one to them. Uh-huh. It, is it? it? Yeah, the whole movie hinges uh, because, around yes, the collection. Okay, because yes. Travolta wants gold. But... Gold! Gold! <laughs> but... That's as much as I know. But that's not that's not exciting. They should tell us that shit up front. Your whole movie shouldn't revolve around the point that well, we I mine think... gold because it's worth money. We know. It's gold. Uh, well, we know. straight off the bat, I'm not defending that this film is exciting. Stop defending Battlefield Earth, Ashley. In any way. Because one of my points later on is... The... You love it. <laughs> you want to fuck the it. The test screenings. How yeah. many people were yawning constantly throughout? Because I found myself every five seconds wanting to yawn. Well, who who this. stayed past the half hour mark? Because honestly, at that point, you've tested your patients beyond their limits and you're going, fuck this, on, I'm gone. On the first go, I gave up after about 20 minutes. Yeah, I had to before. watch this movie in 20 minute chunks. <laughs> and it's two hours long. <laughs> Fucking this film. And it man. took me six attempts. Hmm. <laughs> I wish I'd have done that. I wish I'd have done that because I, I'd like, at, at a certain point, I was like, I don't know what's going on. The movie won't tell me what's happening. I have no clues. Fuck this film. Ooh. 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 <laughs> that is the first 20 minutes of the film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we, right, let's, 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 let's try and go chronologically through the movie, okay? The movie starts <laughs> with the main character's father dying. Yeah. Does and, it? Yeah. In a village of some yeah. sort. I've, I've written this. It's you know my my version of the script. I'm sorry, character. We don't know yet. Your father, who we've never seen, died in the night. No. <laughs> yeah. My, the movie literally goes no. Also, no. before this and since this, has Barry Barry Pepper ever had another leading role? <laughs> no, I don't know about <laughs> leading. But Barry Pepper, he's he, been you, in a lot of good stuff. Yeah, he's been in a lot of good stuff. He was in actor. Saving Private Ryan, Green yep. Mile, yep. We Were Soldiers, Maze Runner, the Coen Brothers version of Two Grit. Who was? He's won two Emmys. Who was Brian Pepper in this? Barry Pepper. <laughs> sure. The, the main dude, the guy who said Oh, him. him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I kept calling him Matthew McConaughey. Rat Boy. No, this ain't the, the Dragons film with Matthew McConaughey and Christian Bale. Rain of Fire. Rain of Fire. No, it's fucking no, not. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's fucking I, not. One of my top notes is every actor was too good for this film. No <laughs> one should have been in this film. Not Travolta? every actor. Not every actor. There was like John Travolta's wife. I can't remember her name. She crops up at some point. Is she She's not better than this film. Mrs. Travolta. Mrs. Travolta. Yes, that's what we refer to her as. I also put down Mumble Movie. I could barely hear them talking. I think you've got a problem with your ears. Well, no, because Punisher the... 89 was a mumble movie as well. <laughs> I think... But we can't talk about that. No, we can't talk about that. <laughs> yeah, all the cyclones they fought right with. <laughs> Basically, like the bad guys from uh, Fifth Element. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, so the, the main dude, his dad dies. And then yeah. we cut to a village. Yeah. And he's training and he, he we... wants to leave. Because the grass is always greener. And they, I kind of like that, calling him a greener because the green. Oh yeah, I kind of question like that. at three forty-five. What's yeah. a greener? He explains it in five minutes' time. What is a greener, is a greener? Ashley? If the grass is always greener. Is someone who looks elsewhere for something better? There is no grass in this universe. There's plenty of fucking it's grass all, in this universe. It's all I sand. Saw no green grass. Right. We get to the child's playground. We get to the child's playground. What? And he fights, he fights the dragon, right, in the child's playground. Oh, right, right. right okay, yep. yeah. A thousand years of growth. Everything's still standing. Yeah. The grass is up to his knees. Yeah. <laughs> well, someone maintains it. <laughs> of course, yeah. you, you got to maintain the grass. Consistently throughout my notes, it's like a thousand years, that's not working. A thousand years, that doesn't exist. A thousand oh. years, those fucking oh. batteries don't have a charge. We will get to that towards <laughs> the end. Don't you worry. 
<laughs> at three minutes, I write, I've already got a neck cramp from trying to fix all the Dutch angles in this movie. <laughs> oh my tilting God. my head. Yeah, okay. Trying to watch it Don't straight. Worry. The transition sort that out for you. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> should, we, should we just talk about the editing right now before we go any further? So this movie is fucking woefully put together in yes. terms of editing. There are Dutch angles all over the place. There are frames cut. Well, I mean, the Dutch angles, add... we can put that down to the production team. I don't... That was the camera operators. Yeah, okay, fine. Put that They're down all to pissed. them. <laughs> yep. There's the weird wipe from the middle of the screen. Yes, out. the curtain wipe. Ev- the curtain wipe. Every single time they want to transition, it's a curtain wipe. Yes, that's right. There's the fact that every time you want to transition to another planet, they literally just put a blue filter over it. Yep. Then there's the part where he gets hunted and there's a green filter and they cut frames out and they slow down some parts of the footage and they cut the sound out. Yes. And I have no fucking clue who thought this was a good idea. This, they only go to another planet once. They show you when Cyclone... And any time that it's blue, they're on a different planet, I think, or in this a different This movie part. cost $75 really, million dollars to make. The DOP, uh, or the cinematographer, I can't remember the name of the person, but they said it was the lowest lighting budget they've ever had on any movie they've ever worked on. And it fucking shows. You know what else was being filmed around this time? Go on. Fellowship of the Ring. Two Towers. Return gonna, of the King. I was going to bring that up later on. <laughs> because all of the cyclos, the aliens in this movie, are they all the actors are wearing four foot stilts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Lord of the Rings, which was filming you know, long before this, came out a year after this, managed to do Hobbits with forced perspective mm-hmm. and looked far superior because it wasn't giant legs tiny body <laughs> i i just i can't get over how incomprehensible this film becomes through editing alone mm. like it's it's astounding did either of you guys keep track of how many curtain wipes there are in this movie I, no because I, I knew you would okay I didn't. <laughs> there's a pop quiz coming at the end guys <laughs> i will i will start you off four minutes in we've already got two of them mm-hmm. i will let you know at the end Exactly how many? Can I do are. a quick guess now? Go on. Nineteen. Mm, no. <laughs> I'm going to wait for the quiz. You wait for the guessing. quiz. I've also put down. There's a big bang of Planet of the Apes coming off this movie. Yeah. Like it, it wanted to be Planet, but of the not Apes one of the only... good ones. Like no. one, like Planet of the Apes five beneath the Planet of the Apes was one of the shit oh, ones. Oh come on, that's the second Planet of the Apes. I can't film, remember. So. I, sorry, I don't remember. <laughs> I'll the be order honest. Of them I will watch any of the Planet of the Apes until my eyes bled over seeing <laughs> this ever again. <laughs> Have you seen all of the Planet of the Apes? Maybe don't say that. So, <laughs> I haven't seen all of them, but they cannot be worse than that. Even, than Tim, even Tim Burton's? Mm. <laughs> I'll take Tim Burton's over this. Yeah, to be fair, I would as well. <laughs> 15 minutes in. If I've, you I've think... got another 11 minutes. Okay, go on. I was going to say, I already said, I said this, but what I wrote down as I was watching this scene, which was, dude gets shot, sound cuts out, green tint is added to the frame. Things go in slow motion. Dutch angles everywhere. Mm. Poor laser effects. I can't deal with this. That take, is, that bats, that's Battlefield Earth. Take that's the slow motion Earth. out of this film. You've got a film that's 10 minutes long. Of course, <laughs> yes. So absolutely. much slow motion. Yeah. The, the, movie, the movie is just, two hours long. It's it's not just something is frame. happening. Something is happening. Look at it in it, big it's detail. It's not just even slow in the frame. It's the cutting frames out to make it look like it's slow motion, which is always the yeah. poor man's slow motion. Yeah, yeah. Oh. 15 minutes in. Mm. All right, if you think that Chris Pratt's run in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is weird, <laughs> with the weird flaily arms, wait until you see the main character during his escape attempt <laughs> <laughs> in slow motion. He runs like Phoebe from Friends. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I think it's a <laughs> flailing, gr- like flailing arm, slow motion, grimacing face. It's a big reason why he's not Swim on Swim clip main... on his nose. <laughs> is not your first actor on the sheet. No. He's not someone you want to train he's the camera on. two Emmys. <laughs> Not for this film. Also, I've got a note. And I was looking out for it. So, year 3000, we're looking for... Not much has changed, but we live underwater. No, we don't. Because... False advertising. Yeah. There is no underwater. Everything's above ground. And everyone's, as far as I can tell, has two tits. Oh. Yeah. And there were no topless three tit scenes that I was really looking forward to. We were promised this. But your great, great, great granddaughter, she's still pretty fine. Which one was she? Uh, The fine one. Okay. Yep, that's all right. There you go. Aren't they a pair of brothers? Hey, hey, what? What? Who are you on about? Me? I'm talking about busted. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> move on. Shaft. Oh yeah, but everyone has dreads. Why does it, why does every alien have to have dreads? Because where are you getting the shampoo in the year three thousand? Also, have you seen Predator? I where know. else are they going to get their ideas from? <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you ask the humans who clearly wash? 
<laughs> Clearly wash, have makeup. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go, go ask them who are, you know, prim and proper. Hairstylists. For being an endangered species dressed in rags. They are prim and proper. Also, they're year 2000 idioms. Get to that later. Yeah. 16 minutes in, mm. we get the introduction of John Travolta. <laughs> And and mm. as this the moment he appears on screen, you know we're going to get full John Travolta this movie. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm King Candy. Oh from Candy. gosh. <laughs> uh, like when he showed up, it's fucking woeful. <laughs> when he showed up, I was so happy that we were going to get a full John Travolta, <laughs> but it's really, really irritating after five minutes. <laughs> Every one of his lines is to set like, up something like that. Like, yeah. I'm not your friend, or I filmed this. It's <laughs> leverage. There is oh. leverage against you, and I have leverage, Christ. and you have leverage. no leverage. It's the main a theme human of has this leverage film. over me. I... No, no leverage. <laughs> <laughs> I kept... A man thing? What are they called them? Man animal. Man, a man, man animal, animal with leverage. With leverage. Over me. And I have leverage over you. I want to fucking choke him on that word. <laughs> I kept like fucking grotting with it. Of all the curtain wipes in this movie, and I really wish that I had <laughs> kept track of all the leverages because I had no idea. Like when they said leverage twice, three times, I was like, oh, that's weird. They've used it three times. Weird. And then they keep using it and using it. Leverage, leverage, leverage. And it must have been like the writers on on the one day that this script was written. It must have been like the word of the day on his screen. Well, you know or what. Because the only reason they worked on this is because the producers had leverage over them. Uh, <laughs> it's like, we need a big word. Uh, leverage, fucking brilliant, Paul, you promoted. <laughs> I thought, but I'm the guy who cleans the toilets. You're writing the script now. <laughs> Jesus. I You've get... got more shit to deal with. <laughs> Mate, I get lost at the 20-minute mark. At that point, I'm like, I have no clue what's going on. Yeah. Why are they hunting? Who are these people? Again, Why is one anything... of the reasons I had to stop and come back to it like a day later. <laughs> I really don't get the breathers. I understand the nose plugs. Yeah, I don't understand I understand why aliens from another planet would need to breathe differently on our planet. Mm. But humans on our planet, no matter how much carbon monoxide you're pumping around them, they're still oh, going to be see, able to... this this because I I scan through and I I force myself to look for a reason is because that see that blue tint when they go into other place that is clearly habitable air space. Because they've got the dome. Or the alien, because yes. they've got the dome. And they yeah. have filled that dome with their, with with the their breath gas. Ex- with their explosive but gas. But also, it's not, no, it's co- they call it breath gas. Oh, breath gas. And they, Although, use, which they has... use breath gas, breath gas blimps <laughs> to go back to their planet cyclone and bring back some breath gas. Although, yeah, that, which you don't get Fucking told. breath gas. You don't get told like till 10 minutes at the end when this movie's almost done. That See, the dome exists. That any of this No, you exists. know the dome exists from like the yeah. 20 minute yeah. mark. You get the, the terrible CGI shot from the outside like near the beginning or something. Okay. Well, still I have an issue with it because they suff- the humans, before they get their breather things, start suffocating, which means there is a deficit of oxygen in the air. Yes. However, many flames are, in, are within this dome. Flames also yeah. need the oxygen. Um... Big flames <laughs> using a lot of oxygen. Maybe I, I have an gas answer for you. I have an answer for you. Shut the fuck up. Sorry, sir. Okay. So they all anyway. I, the I man have... animals have all got captured. Yes. Okay. Yeah, not all of them. Is this the part where we get the awful music that has the squeaky trainers as a main instrument? I have no idea what you're I talking about. I think that's about. in the cage when he's when he's put in the cage. Okay. Right. And you just hear these awful like just trains go and and that's that's the instrument. No, in fact, it's when he's running away. That that's uh, the main instrument. It's like, mate, someone someone had twenty minutes from propeller, and that's the best you came up with. <laughs> Guys, do you want to hear my hell. favorite Travolta line in this? Go on. <laughs> there he, you does, go. he does a lot of that. <laughs> mate, I bet you guys are missing Santa Claus right about now. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. They all get captured. They all get imprisoned, and. They all get hosed down in the prison cells, as you do when you get when you're cutting scenes out yeah. and you're getting washed down. Did any of you spot the lady man animal during the hosing down scene? No. While all the while all the male man animals were like ah ah sprayed with harsh water, lady man animal was like ooh like she's in a fucking Tresemme <laughs> advert. Ooh, look at me in my loincloth. 
being sprayed with water. Everybody, I am the eye candy for this movie. So the the cyclos in this. Yes. Are they the stupidest aliens ever put on on film on no. celluloid? Um, They've got to be right. Contact. They've got to be in the, up in the running, surely. The Shining. No animals, anim- aliens that come here and are deathly allergic to water. I would argue. Are yeah, quite stupid. The, the Shining. They are that, quite that's stupid. Pretty stupid. But we don't get to spend a lot of time with them. Maybe they are like very advanced with maths. Alf is pretty thick. <laughs> Mm, okay, okay, but Alf does know what a dog is. He also eats yeah. cats. <laughs> and, and didn't try and make a dog do manual labour down a mine. It's not got fucking thumbs. <laughs> no, yeah. What? Tell me, why do they okay. capture these man animals? Uh, it's got to be to mining the mine the metal, right? No, it isn't because. Travolta is ridiculed for... Yeah, you don't teach right, man just, animals yeah. to mine. Why do they capture the man animals? Wait, no, we but see... wait, we see them, like, hacking at stone. Yes, we see them do two types of work. Yeah. Carrying and passing things along a line. Mm. Or hacking away a support beam in a ceiling. Mm. That's it. Get the man animals in to do a bit of DIY. <laughs> what? <laughs> Otherwise, you're just capturing them to have them. So is this like Got Pokemon? Catch them all. <laughs> <I'm just> saying, <laughs> animals. Is this like Pokemon Cross Home Improvement? Who's is this? That, is that animal? This it's is Tim Allen. <laughs> 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 so, okay, I have a question. Go on. Because I was unclear on this. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to answer until it. Until hour forty-five. What is the motivation for John Travolta's character? He wants to become he a... He wants money. Right. No, Before... he wants to become a counsellor else in on, on another planet. Right. So like the fat dude with the big chins, yeah. he's the counsellor of Earth. Does he hate John Travolta? It seems to be. Why? I guess. Because uh, he, they, he pissed everybody, someone... Oh, he's, everybody agrees he's, that no, John Travolta... No, he fucked the senator's daughter. Yeah. No, he didn't. We don't know what he did to the senator's daughter. He did something that... Because they come marching out of the office and the line is, It was the senator's daughter. <laughs> Had I had known it was the <laughs> senator's daughter, I would never have done it. We don't know what he did. No idea. Poked her Maybe he took her a nice picnic. What the fuck is up with that scene where it's like, endless options for renewal. Endless <laughs> options for renewal. <laughs> Dento plan. <laughs> Dento plan. Oh, thank you, sir. I, I don't know if I could have kept my sanity to be here another five cycles. We've decided to keep you here for another 50 cycles. With endless options for renewal. With endless options for renewal. With endless options for renewal. <laughs> what the fuck is Lisa going on? Lisa needs braces. On in this movie. I don't... That's what I mean, is I don't know. So what is his motivation? Because now he's stuck on Earth. So now what is he going to do? What is... Make gold. Make gold. He loves he's... gold. So is he just going to leave after all that gold? Well, he's going to buy his way out. Or No, didn't he went to whoever, Senator or whatever it was and got some leverage over him, perhaps? <laughs> did he, did he, I'm pretty sure he got some leverage right, over look. him. I, I want to buy the hat. Can I give you four leverage for it? <laughs> okay, can I get can I get half a leverage change back? I, for I it, definitely please? remember he went to him, and then the bloke suddenly, like, was his friend afterwards. Like, allowed him to use the man animal Which for mining. Bloke, the councillor, fat man <laughs> from the Home Office. <laughs> yes, with the chins. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Slug boy. 30, Slug boy. Thank you. <laughs> Thirty-three minutes in during this whole big scene, like with the Home Office man. They prefer to be called homosexual. I, I write they're, this. They're having a meeting about mining and economics, and it's so fucking ugly. This is such an ugly movie. Yeah, it's horrible to look at. It's not not like wow, look how gross those like creature designs are. Mm. They're just it's it, it, it's just repugnant. Not in a good way. It feels like it's it, fe- it felt like it was physically assaulting me. This movie. <laughs> It's fucking horrible. You know, I had a note in here and then I didn't find out until later on. So I assume they didn't speak the same language as, as people from Earth. Which, no. Yeah, because right? the first time you see them, they go... You understand me? Do you 
want lunch? Do you want lunch? Eat rat is favorite food. <laughs> My favorite quote. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I just because it, like it, the ending, the film just gets worse as this mm. film goes on. Yeah, the whole film gets worse as it goes on, and it didn't start off great to begin with. No, but I, I genuinely think like, what is the what is this this movie trying to tell us? What's the story behind this movie? Because it has no What's point. What's the message? Like, what do we take away from this movie? Despite all Can our technology. Can we stop calling it a movie? No, it is a movie. It <laughs> no, I'm going to call it a motion picture. Same thing. No, it's not. <laughs> motion pictures have no. motion, movies have movement. No, no, this is a motion picture. It is just a series of images that move. It is not a movie. Movie is short for moving pictures? No. Demolished. So fuck you. No, fuck I'm you sorry. and your etymology. I may, I may have to agree with this and give it a different definition because I refuse to call that a film because a film has to have a point and a reason and it has to have a structure and this movie had fucking nothing. Suck it's my one etymology. Of the films to be recorded on films. On films. <laughs> on films. <laughs> on film. On, on other films. films. They taste <laughs> over films ET. Recorded on films. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Right, so they drop the man animals off in the mountains. Yeah, and the man animals think they've escaped. Uh, that's but that's they were dropped what, no, off. That's yeah, they, what they can chuff off to Washington. <laughs> they, they that's can what go Travolta on a little and break. his best friend tell him that will make them think they've escaped. But they were dropped off, and and then he realizes that the that his button has a camera. Yes. And he rips those out. Yes. Man, animal learning about cameras ridiculous. Well, you know, hang on. At that point, have they encountered cameras? Encountered cameras before? No. No. Mm. So they shouldn't have any fucking idea what it is. No. They should just think it's a button. Dude, look at these cool <laughs> buttons that were and pop. This is the scene where the aliens prove their stupidity again. Because John Travolta was like, "They've not eaten for three days. They'll be hungry." <laughs> and look. There's some rats that they're eating. The rats that must be their favorite food. That's, yeah, their logic is the Feed first. The, rats. the first thing they go for when they're out in the world After will be starving their, for three yeah, days. Will be yeah. their favorite food. Oh, here's a trifle in the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> he could have had anything. He could have got from that Burger King. <laughs> and then John Travolta bonks his head. <laughs> 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 That's where it's where it still Oh mate. no! You know what that is? Is motivation to get the man animals in to get rid of the ceiling beam so that they can then steal all the <laughs> the footage and the guns was well, this movie meant to be a comedy why does the... i don't they're know. eating rats and ouch my head <laughs> like i don't think this movie has a genre <laughs> I don't, what, I don't think it has. I think everyone yeah. was just on no, the, different pages of the book. I think the writer intended it for it to be a comedy. I think Roger Christian came in thinking it was a Star Wars ripoff. I think the editor thought, I don't know, what the fuck is a music video? I don't know. Forrest Whitaker was on community service. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, the genre... there's no other explanation for being in this movie. <laughs> the genre is John Travolta. No, see, what, what you can't see just off scene is John Travolta's got a gun pointed at him the entire time. <laughs> And you can't, you just can't see it. They edit it out. It's really clever. Just like cattle prod. It's just, you will do it. <laughs> I took a pay cut for this movie. Now act like me. I'm acting. <laughs> act like your life depends upon it. <laughs> Listeners, if this voice has got old for you, just imagine how we fucking felt. Try for two hours. Do you want to see your children again, Forrest? So, <laughs> Turl drops a man on him off a cliff. I want to play to... a game. <laughs> Sorry. Because they're because the aliens are stupid. Oh, sorry, don't use his Earth name. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, but I love it. Drops a man off a cliff because the aliens are stupid. Like Forrest Whitaker's like, oh man, animals can fly. <laughs> so John Travolta drops him off a cliff, and it's awful. The compositing here is is awful. It's like essentially someone has just laid a green screen on a floor, and the man <laughs> being dropped off the cliff stands on it one legged, and flails his arms like he's falling. It looks like an A-level student movie. And this I want to remind everyone again that this movie cost $75 million. <laughs> they, they could have Is done the reported budget. anything with that money. They could have dug a giant hole in the ground and it would have been a better use of funds. They could, here's John Travolta jumping up and down in a puddle of custard for two hours. <laughs> At least that would have been something. I would have taken that over this. But I get recaptured. At this point, yes, and big ships and flying, they get taken back. 
And then they decide that they can learn how to mine for gold in the mountains. Gold. Well, not yet, because the only reason they let them escape first is so they have an incentive for them to mine, which is all the rats in the world. <laughs> and then he teaches him... He, he straps him to a chair, right? Yes, yeah, so at 48 minutes in, he's oh, yes. putting the learning yes, machine I have or something. Yes, I fucking know about this. We get the best... Although, the best CGI in the film... 48 minutes in. This must be where what the money went. What the fuck is On that spear hologram thing? That fucking pathetic piece of shit alien is like, I'm here to be dejected. <laughs> I am a lonely nothing. And I'm going to teach you facts. <laughs> what the fuck are you? <laughs> where did you come from? Spin off. Fuck off. Spin off. Spin off. What the fuck? That was out of nowhere. He's called the instructor. I liked him. He was like Droopy Dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to teach you. Fucking lawnmower man had more you. fucking convincing grammar to that fucking thing. Oh. <laughs> he, he, this hologram just shows up. He's like, I'm sorry. I have to teach you. Sorry. <laughs> My bad dog. Oh. So, and then Johnny, for that is his name, as we learn at this point, <laughs> like an hour into the movie, we learn that the lead character's name is Johnny. Johnny, good boy. An hour in, I had to get up. <laughs> Johnny, fucking good boy. <laughs> Johnny, you good. heard him. An hour in, I had to get up and do anything else. Yeah. Just anything. Yeah, of Any, course. I didn't care what it was. Go pound nails into my dick, whatever. I had to do anything I get else. it this film got me rock hard as well <laughs> 50, 51 minutes in we're in the prison and Johnny Goodboy has learned everything he's learned all about triangles <laughs> and, and and water molecules he's become a nerd and this is how we get out exactly the triangles and the water molecules will help <laughs> us escape don't you see science <laughs> I write so help me movie if this doesn't pay off <laughs> Oh, it does, because we get John DeVoto scream at him with a rat, Do you want lunch? <laughs> it doesn't in pay his off. face. Yeah, remember when he takes down all of society with a wet triangle? <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking whips it through the air. <laughs> like a shuriken. <laughs> a have... soggy shuriken. A wet ninja. <laughs> I have oh, an... yeah, Home Alone. <laughs> the wet ninjas. I have another point that proves these aliens are fucking morons. <laughs> because you watch the film <laughs> <laughs> because the code the code to their gun storage locker or whatever the fuck it was was the numbers backwards <laughs> try the numbers backwards <laughs> second guess <laughs> I forgot about that it's like, of course if you mm. aliens had any intelligence you would know you don't store live weapons yeah, comedy on the level of space balls in a non-comedy film <laughs> <laughs> can I ask you like, about those guns actually how do you load them power of your mind like where where, where, does, where does the clip go where, where where, does, where's the ammo it's, it's laser go? doesn't need a clip yeah energy but he weapons. says they don't store live armed weapons yes they do oh. so it needs <laughs> ammunition oh. yeah. so where does it in in that horseshoe gun fucking stupid what? those prosthetics on their hands <laughs> <laughs> jesus fucking christ <laughs> the, pros the prosthetics on all of them like i'm sure somebody worked hard a recent graduate worked really hard. But it, but it looks like every one of these aliens has arthritis. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, like I it... can barely grip their cups to drink that weird green, green liquid. Wheat grass juice. So, right. So the Cyclos know all about the Denver Library, where all <laughs> human knowledge <laughs> is stored within, and they have done exactly fuck all with it. Because they know nothing about the human race. Oh, no, no. He goes, your race put up a six-minute fight. Nine minutes. A respectable Sorry. nine minutes. Nine all minutes. the technology. No, d doesn't he say all the futuristic technology? I've no he idea. He said something stupid. I don't Adva know. <laughs> advanced. Advanced technology. All their advanced yeah, that's technology. Right. With all their... Yeah, oh, no, fuck it. I wrote it down here. Why would Travolta call human technology advanced when the Cylons beat them in nine minutes? 
not advanced compared to Cylons. Who the fuck even That's knows? That's like going to, like, taking my rifle, seeing a man with a stick and saying, that advanced stick won't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> but my point is, they know all about the Denver Library and what is stored within, yet know fuck all about humans, so I've done nothing, precisely nothing with it, which is why they think dogs are the superior race. Yeah, but hold on. I have another point for why they're stupid. <laughs> he lets them in there to read, and he reads about nuclear bombs yeah. in that library, thereby giving him the edge to kill them. Dan... What what do they read? What does he read it from? I don't know. I think it's one of those things called a book. Yeah. Those things that you know deteriorate fairly quickly. <laughs> oh, uh, clearly not. But in a thousand years, you can just pick it up and go, hey, hey, look at all this shit I can read clearly, and turning pages without them disintegrating. Well, yeah, because someone had to preserve the books. And it's clearly <laughs> stupid fucking aliens in this building with a millimeter of dust on it. Yes. <laughs> Also, of course... Here's a copy of the Declaration of Independence that survived all the way to the year 3000 oh, and that blowing out building. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> also, um, I mean, I understand... I understand the whole... I mean, you've got... No, you don't. Don't no, 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 fucking no, hang on, lie. Hang on. No, no, don't, of course... Don't tell me you understand anything about this No, movie. you guys are going to be with me on this because, you know, through history, you have the Library of Alexandra, mm. then you have the Library of Denver. Uh-huh, yes. Where everything else was kept. yes. Of course, oh, yes. clearly. <laughs> clearly. Oh God. Bree. We are we are we are one hour into this two hour movie. They're doing their DIY and they're left alone with tools just to to confer amongst themselves. With pickaxes. With pickaxes, which are like three times the size of normal pickaxes. Yeah. Although I suppose they are cyclone pickaxes. Mm. Do you know what's do you know what's impressive about pickaxe? Is that you've got one pointy end and one bladed end. What? You can jam that in a person's body pretty good. Oh, yeah, both ends. With a lot of force. Yeah. So, you know, just fucking yeah. kill them. And then they're left unattended to just go and raid the armory and steal all their security footage. Yes. Yeah, yes. and their guns are not loaded. I want yeah. to jump back a, a few minutes, though, to 59 minutes at the bar. Okay, not to where they pull out an air filter. That's clearly the Ooh. recording. No, 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 no. I want to jump back even further go on, go on. to the first time we see that bloody bartender. Yeah, go on. Who, like, is the first one who is a leveragee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then John Travolta keeps going back to the same bar being served by the same bloke who is jizzing in his drink. Sure. <laughs> that must be happening. Okay. No, because you don't, you don't burn all your bridges on a planet. Because you're going to become a counsellor of another planet and then get told, no, fuck it, you're staying here for another ten years or whatever. I'm not your friend! <laughs> I'm not your friend! <laughs> and then immediately go back as if everything was normal and everyone's your good mate. <laughs> I just assume they're all like that. That's my only yeah. assumption. I'm sure we're going to get a Scientologist like write to us. Um, actually, guys, the Cyclos are stupid because they're a mining race. The Scientologists... Don't write. They communicate through side Oh, Ron Hubbard wrote this. Let's not disparage Scientology, the <laughs> stupid fucking religion that it is. And this wonderfully written script. So 59 minutes in at the bar, uh, John Travolta's wife shows up. And she is, she is the one with the big tongue. Mm. Oh, right. The sexiest of the cyclones, if I say so myself. Also, is yeah. it cyclones? Cyclones? I think it's cyclo. Psychotic? But I which think... Is what this movie made me. I think when we are, we do see the one shot of Planet Cyclone, I think we do get a subtitle that says Cyclone, PSY clone. Yeah, it might, that might be the name of the planet. <laughs> mm. <laughs> sure. Anyway, I just... Did you just imagine that? I mean, it is a deliri delirious making film. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Sure, yeah, we'll okay. go with that. He's had half a beer. <laughs> I, I, when John Travolta's wife shows up, all it make, it just makes me think of him going home after a hard day on set of Battlefield Earth and what the conversations must be like. Like, <laughs> he goes home and she's like, oh, hi. You know what Hi, John Travolta, is. as I refer to you every day, my <laughs> husband. How was work? And he's like, oh, same old, same old. <laughs> so he's a I love to actor. spell my name. <laughs> he's a method actor. <laughs> I dressed as a budget store Rastafarian Klingon. In four oh, foot God. still shooting the legs off cows in a field. Same old praise Zenu. <laughs> I just mentioned shooting legs off cows in a field. You did. I did, I did like, I I did like that about you. I'm sorry. Please, please go back to these fake cows. <laughs> so. These not real cows. So John Travolta shoot, fires nine shots. Mm. Every round I counted. 
Do we think that is nine cows with one leg missing? <laughs> <laughs> or two cows with four legs missing and one cocky cow with just one missing? <laughs> like like limping around, but at least he's got three guys. Yeah. Can we assume... Well, we could, if it's the second option and there were only two cows in the field and he had to shoot a tail off also or he just missed the first shot. But he didn't miss because he was proving how excellent a marksman he is. Maybe he missed the last one then. I can shoot a cow's leg off from a thousand yards. I didn't even notice he was shooting at the legs. I thought he was just shooting at cows. Did you, you not, not see the it? one shot of a cow's leg exploding? <laughs> Well, I thought a cow you, you just got to see this fake prosthetic that you know from even from a hundred foot away was clearly a fake prosthetic. Oh, I'm explode. sorry, I'm sorry, I missed a key part of this very dark movie <laughs> <laughs> that I totally saw everything else of. Right, so fifty nine minutes. Okay, we were in the bar. John Travolta's mm. wife shows up. She has a big tongue. We're shooting the legs off cows in a field. <laughs> one hour and three minutes. Just four minutes later. Sounds like a fever dream. <laughs> I know, because one minute, like four minutes later, they've captured Johnny Goodboy's girlfriend from the start of the film, who I forgot was a thing. Yep. Oh yeah, she leaves, doesn't she? Yeah. To go after yeah, him. Yeah, she leaves, goes after him, and she gets captured. And I would like to know: Did do either of you know how they figured out that Johnny Goodboy and the lady knew each other? I'm guessing she yeah. was waving a big flag that said, Johnny Goodboy is my boyfriend. No, 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 no. She had like a crude doodle. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they raided the village and then... <laughs> well, they didn't raid the village. She left. She left. Oh, did she? She yeah. left and she was captured. Right, okay. And she had a crude doodle. <laughs> of his face. And then went, it's an amazing likeness. Don't show the camera. Don't show the camera. <laughs> <laughs> is that how they knew that they knew each other? Yes. Or did she just buckle under Fuck pressure? Off. That's that's how they explain it to the audience and to Johnny Goodboy. Fuck off. Because I really we... thought I'd miss something. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably a cut scene where it's like, so who are you? And my boyfriend's Johnny Goodboy. I'm after. It's like, I didn't even ask you, love, but all right. It wasn't a which, fucking doodle. Come which on. is the one thing she knows in their language. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't the crude, scrawling... On a like of, a fucking Flintstones scrawl <laughs> of Johnny Goodboy's face. <laughs> of a man with dreadlocks. <laughs> In Fuck a universe off. where all men have dreadlocks. <laughs> no, oh just a page of the this script. This fucking movie. <laughs> I have a question, right? Uh, I just it's just, just come to me, right? Wouldn't they strap Johnny be bad good boy? <laughs> into the Johnny be good boy. <laughs> into the learn everything chair. We're down in Denver. And he Sorry. learns he learns their language, right? Sorry, I am the learn everything chair. <laughs> <laughs> he learns their language. Sorry, I'm so fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, do have they have the other the cyclones? Have they never sat in that chair to learn the English? No, right? to learn Earth's language. <laughs> oh. No, they haven't. Right? Like. They have a learning machine that can teach them everything. They have the fucking Denver Library, second only to the Library of Alexandria. And they know they use none, right. none of them. So and we can put that as another marker in that these aliens are fucking stupid. Hang on, do because you see? Life would have been so much easier for them if they had just learned the, if they had just learned their language. Yeah, right. like, later on, did it in thirty seconds. Later on, we see that humans have their own learning machines, the Harrier Jump Jet <laughs> Simulator, <laughs> which can teach people that don't oh. know the basics of flight God. or even driving or pedaling. No, don't. Don't, don't, because we are only an hour into this movie. Okay. And that comes a good 50 minutes okay. from now. Okay. We oh. will get there, everybody. Don't you worry. Mm, I won't. But mm. the man animals learn to fly. In a week. At this One point, of them learns to fly twice. Johnny Big Good Bad Boy learns twice yes. in two different types <laughs> yes. of plane. Why does no, Turl teach Johnny Good Boy to fly? He doesn't get in a hurry, does he? Who? Johnny Good No, but Turl teaches how to fly the, like, the cyclone yeah, mining yeah, yeah. machine. Yeah. Why is why is Tell teaching Johnny Goodboy everything he needs to know to fight back and start a revolution? Well, I I was under the assumption. That why are they so stupid? <laughs> I was under the assumption that in future Give him mining, every tool to overthrow him. See, I was going to think this might make some sense of everyone being ridiculing John Travolta for making the man animals mine. I would have thought that makes sense if they have to use advanced technology. But no, they were fucking swinging off the cliff on a rope and yeah. then digging at the cliff. Yeah. But which 
fucking anyone can do. Okay, look, let's let's get to the part where they this actually go to the This technology, mic, we have right? a dr- we have a drone that flies overhead once every three hours, <laughs> takes a still image, <laughs> oh, the and first prints it out in sepia tone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a fucking carbonite. Han Solo comes out of a cartridge holder. A VHS fucking pops out. Where the fuck are you storing those? Yeah. Futuristic like, technology. It's a Polaroid. It's a Polaroid that's just really expensive. It's a, a Flintstones Polaroid because it's on a brick. <laughs> it's just a little bird in there chiseling away with a hammer. <laughs> okay, so he that's gets taught how to fly a cyclone ship. Yes, he trying does. To go, trying to be a good bad boy. Yep. And they go over there. <laughs> But he learns about Fort Knox, yeah, where there's gold stored, mm-hmm. and his plan is we're not gonna mine. We're gonna travel to Fort Knox because apparently we are close to the Denver Library and Fort Knox. Yeah, I don't actually know how. Well, no, he used he used the cyclone plane to fly to Washington, which is completely the other fucking side. Okay, even though he's well, being watched. but Fort Knox is in Kentucky, isn't it? See, I don't. I'm not 100 oh, yeah. sure. Why do they go to Washington? Um, he just go. This is where the the lead human government was. I don't remember. I could not tell you. I do not remember. No, but they go to Fort Knox to get their gold, and he brings it back. And he goes, "Why is it in bars?" Like we processed it, and he <laughs> buys it. Yeah, no, he doesn't. Yeah. No, he does. He accepts. That he does. That's how the oh, gold yeah. comes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? You had time to smelt metal. I didn't even bring you a smelter. <laughs> how delightful. Another point for why these aliens are fucking re- <laughs> stupid. It's so... It, it definitely must have been a comedy also, at some point. Also, that gold would have had stamps on it. Yeah. Not, <laughs> that, not that, only did they smelt it, they created their own company <laughs> and stamped it with their that logo. Said fucking Fort Knox property of the USA. On <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's right. down. Please return to Fort Knox. Do you want to <laughs> Fort Knox? Nowhere near your current location, America. <laughs> Do you want to talk about them learning how to fly no. Harrier jump jets? I don't want to talk about any of this. But... After a thousand years of use, no use, the guns, the, the fucking yep. flight simulator, the electrics, none of it should work. The fuel, the fucking none walkie-talkie. Of it. The, yeah, none of this works. Apart from in this universe where it does, because it does. Just because it does. Uh, and when, when the revolution starts... A bunch of tribes people appear from nowhere yeah. to help out. Oh, yeah. And the main chief man says, me and my men are with you. And I literally wrote, okay, but who are you? <laughs> Deus ex tribesman. <laughs> he knows how to talk their language. We will win. <laughs> he knows French. We will win. <laughs> he look, will... <laughs> look, he's got that, that machine that does thing. <laughs> It'll teach us to fly. What's fly? Yeah. What's flying, right. precious? So, okay. What is that thing that's shaped like a plane? What's Seven a plane? days. Seven days they have to learn. They learn. They have to learn to fly, right? At the end, I'm going to skip ahead. At the end, Harrier jump jets show up. A squadron. A squadron. There are at Turns least up. seven Harrier jump jets, I think. Seven or eight, I can't remember. Meaning that each man animal in the flight simulator had maximum, if they didn't sleep, 24 hours in a flight simulator... To learn how to fly a Jerry Harrier jump jet in, shifts. in, in order to matches. beat the Cyclos who eradicated the human race in nine minutes and all their armies. Mm-hmm. And let's not forget, they learn to fly in formation hmm. as well. Yeah. Which a simulator wouldn't teach you. No. <laughs> what? Just, just what? What? Fucking, I don't. 24 hours less than per they, person. They also fire machine guns. Which they they're do. adept they at do. using. They do. And they had to load and everything. Mm. Well, it's probably in a book. In they Denver. they find a nuclear bomb. <laughs> no, which no. I think they build a nuclear oh, sorry, bomb. Oh, so they build a nuclear bomb. Or at the very least, find parts of a nuclear bomb and assemble it. Which Little Richard, aka, AKA Johnny Be Good, le- like learns, oh, I can detonate on that planet and it will kill them. <coughs> Independence Day. <laughs> There were awful, awful cheap radiation and bomb explosion effects. Did you... I don't know if it was on your guys' viewing. It must have been. I think it's when you're in a dome and there's like all these little sparks going Mm. off overlaid 
on the shot at, to simulate yeah. things yeah, are they explody. Were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, like the atmosphere mm. is igniting. It was like you've gone into clip art and PowerPoint presentation and just gone appear there for a second. Boom, yeah. Boom. Yes. yes. We we've run out of budget. <laughs> Travolta won't give us any more money. We spent our seventy five million dollars. <laughs> On what? Who knows? We blew it on hookers and coke. Uh, I guess we'll just have to go. And John Travolta needed his private chef flown up. Big tongues. More big tongues. <laughs> right, okay. More nothing. Why does Turl store all his gold bricks that were mined raw from the earth in brick form <laughs> in a cryogenic coffin? Either of you guys know? <laughs> well, uh, presumably, so they would be undetected. Okay. That- <laughs> Okay, no, that's that's a valid point. Is it? Right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's what I've got. It's, it's a stupid point, but it's valid for this movie. <laughs> I know. I know why. But only from doing the research on the fucking book. Right, I'm going to guess Go on. that that's a relative of his. And so when he was teleported off planet, he could make an argument that he wanted to take his, rel- his relative home. Smart. Wasn't a relative <laughs> of his. I'm, okay, can I Wasn't make a relative, guess? Wasn't a relative of his. Can Go I also make a guess? That was like a mini escape pod that he was going to send ahead of time to a private place that was off the radar from other people. No, no. Damn it. it I mean, you're right. The The cryo coffin would get teleported off planet because cyclos have to be buried on the home world. Mm-hmm. But right. John Travolta is there to serve another 50 cycles or whatever he's serving. Infinite cycles, endless options for renewal. But I think we, also have to, plan. we also have to assume that he's buying his way out. How is he buying his way out if well, the gold got... bricks are off planet and buried? What's a cycle in this universe, though? Oh, so it's a year. Is it a year or do they just mean a day? No, what no, do they no, mean no, by no. cycle? No, it's definitely a year. Uh, uh, yeah, the Earth we, revolves around the sun. That's we how know all... a cycle as a year. What do the cyclones mean by a cycle? Yeah. It's, it's got to be the same. Does it? Has it? It's used in multiple sci-fi films. Their planet can explode. I don't think it's a day, otherwise John Travolta wouldn't have been as angry and upset. Yeah. Are we sure? <laughs> 50 days? Are Fuck. You, are you sure? But the point is, he, is, he is storing the gold in, the, in a cryo coffin of someone he doesn't know, not a relative, which will then get teleported back to the Cyclo homeworld and presumably buried. And that's a cooler story of him having to find... This this person he doesn't know. That would have been a cooler just, story. That he, is not. He the knows story the name. Here, he knows whereabouts they might be buried. Then he has to go and find his his gold, a la Shawshank. But my point, my original point is, I had to research the fucking book <laughs> to figure that out. <laughs> the movie doesn't tell us a fucking thing. So who chose this film? I did. <laughs> I can get angry about it. You can't deny me that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, moving on. I've got a note here when the Harrier jump jets show up. I know, I, I know we've covered it already, but my note just says "fuck off." Oh, there's a lot of that in my notes. I just, yeah. I like, I, I, I stopped taking notes by this point. I was like, I am done. I've, I've got a no big note before that that I've missed out. Um, you know this whole revolution. Yes. Did we get any indication that it might be easy? Uh, no. I no. think we did, because did we seem we? to get multiple times that this revolution would be, and I quote, a piece of cake. Oh, oh. Christ. <laughs> How do they know what cake is, apart from the... They're hunter-gatherers. He taught them. He taught them via a circle on the floor. No, they're hunter-gatherers. They don't have the agricultural technology to gather the ingredients <laughs> to make a cake. They <laughs> cannot fathom what a cake is. No. <laughs> good, old, but good old John You're John right. taught them what a cake was via mathematics. <laughs> Soggy triangle. Mm. <laughs> you see, the soggy triangle is You're right, baked I wrote that as well. Egg. They shouldn't know what a cake is. <laughs> so, anyway, we have, we have the big... I'm going to call it action scene for sake of ease. Action. The Harrier jump jets are flying around and there's a bomb that's going to blow up the dome and one the bomb doesn't go off. So one guy has to fly a cyclone mining machine into the dome. Smashes it. Smashes it, right. Carlos. Right, Carlos. Is that his name? Yeah. Sure. sure, we'll call him Carlos. He's the only one whose name I know. He, he's flying towards the dome. He's going to crash into it. It's like, like, I'm back! <laughs> like that. Like Independence Day again. But right before he crashes, he fires off two laser shots. What? <laughs> in, into the already cracked glass, which, crack it, which like cracks it some more, right before he crashes his ship into it. 
Mm. Why did he have to crash it? I He's got it's... lasers. <laughs> Why you stupid man? Wait, anyway. wait, why did the Harrier jump jet? I didn't realize I had lasers because I must have just been not paying attention. Mm. No, it's the mining, the mining, like oh, the Carlos mining is one. in one right, of the cycle sorry. of mining, which machines. he also knew how to pilot. Yes, yes, <laughs> in spite of never having been in the flight simulator, same for as mining Harrier. machines, sure, same, same, as, same which as, he same was as. also never learned how to fly. <laughs> I forgot this. Here we go. I forgot this. The triangles get paid off. <laughs> Because by God, he uses a triangle. He uses a triangle to stab Turl in the neck. Because he was given a like a, a shard of glass at the start mm. of the movie, which he fashioned into a shiv and yeah. was allowed to keep on him in prison oh, throughout the fuck. movie. Oh, which yeah, in, in his prison fuck. wallet. He, sh- he shivs. Oh. Shivs Turl in the neck. Triangle, save the day again. Fucking hell. Once again, I just wrote a note about the test screening. This has to have been screened to Scientologist yes men that would have had something was. done to them if they'd said no. So can we talk about the fact that some dude gets teleported to the to the cyclo home planet? Yes. With a nuclear bomb. Yes. And then we see him shed a single tear and then it cuts <laughs> to the bomb going off. Yes. What what is that? What is that editing? What is that scene? Why would you shoot it like that? And the planet explodes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the planet explodes. I forgot. Is your oh, well, sequel involved? Is your I... sequel involve people from Sci-Fi? <laughs> no. Good. So I'm at the end of the movie. Where are you guys? Yep, you guys same. ready? Yep, yep. I mean, my last one is I just don't care what happens in this film anymore. Because no. it's the end of the film. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the movie ends with Turl minus an arm. Oh Kerr, yeah, he Forrest puts the, he puts the bomb necklace on his arm. Yes, Kerr. not on his neck. Yes. Yes, he does. There's a, there's a bomb necklace. We haven't discussed the bomb necklace. There was a bomb necklace like the thing from Saw. But oh, right. And he uses it on a man animal and camera pans away and we don't see any viscera, any yes, explosion. Yeah. We just hear a boom. And John Travolta lost his arm at some point. So the movie ends with Tell minus an arm. Kerr, who is Forrest Whitaker on the human side. Who we've spoken so much about. Yep. The Cyclo homeworld destroy and then, thankfully... The credits. Oh, no. We get told that there are cyclo colonies out there still. Well, we know there are multiple planets mm. as well. But yes. But the movie's over. Thanks, Zeno. <laughs> <laughs> Forrest Whitaker and the writer J.D. Shapiro both apologised in the years since. <laughs> right. I promised you guys a pop quiz. Yep. Go about on. the curtain wipes. Would you would you would you like to Ashley, would you like to have a guess? Twenty six. Twenty six. Twenty six curtain wipes. Do uh, any advance on twenty six? I I'm going to go with thirty. Thirty. Okay. The total amount of curtain wipes. Curtain wipes opening. Twenty four. Oh. One reverse curtain wipe where it closes to close the film. <laughs> Total curtain wipes, 25. Oh, oh, you know some little fuck behind the scenes thought that was a clever idea to fucking <laughs> close it on a curtain. Oh, you oh, fucking... We mm. we hit double-digit curtain wipes by 24 minutes. Oh, my God. That was like, at 24 minutes in, we had had 10 curtain wipes. By the end of this movie, this 120-minute movie... We've had 25, which equals one curtain wipe every sort of four and a half minutes. It's fucking ridiculous. Like, it baffles me because if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're editing digitally, mm. even if you're not, if you're cutting the movie digitally, you have more, more wipes, more transitions than just that one. You could have put fucking star wipes in. <laughs> I would have preferred it. Just a little bit of variety. Do you know what? Someone I, saw Star Wars and just went, that'll do. I asked the director on Twitter, you know, mm. is there an explanation? I gen- I'm not being mean. I genuinely want to know. No response. I think he's uh, as embarrassed as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, give me your final thoughts on this movie. Fuck Before this we go film. into a break. Fucking hate this film. Fuck this film. Ashley? This film didn't keep me interested at all. Bored as fuck throughout. And I watched it twice. Don't I, want to do it again. On the... I just, I fucking, I hate you for watching it twice. <laughs> if I won a dose of Travolta, I might watch this for 10 minutes. 
It, but the, it's too much Travolta, isn't it? Oh no, it's there too are much Travolta. Other films that are too much Travolta. No, he goes way. He goes too Travolta in this. He needs to tone the Travolta down. <laughs> Guys, put this on the M Night Shyamalan scale. <laughs> Where's it come on the M Night scale? <laughs> Signs. Signs. Devil. And I know he I didn't. I told you last time Devil. he didn't direct Devil. I know he didn't direct Devil. I just hate that film. This is below the happening. This is below the happening into the floor, buried six feet under where it belongs. I'm just putting this on stupid alien. So, signs. Okay. 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 So, that was Battlefield Earth. The saga for the year 3000. Saga of the year 3000. Thank you. A saga. A saga of the year 3000. Thank you. Now, all together. (laughs) Battlefield (laughs) Earth. A saga of the year 3000. Good boy. Johnny, good boy. Thank you. Oh, right, we're gonna we're gonna have a break now, everybody. We're gonna we're gonna we need it. Our pod wife for this month episode, whatever, <laughs> uh, is everything I learned from movies podcast, and they've got something important to tell you. Join us after the break to learn about the failed sequel and hear our sequel pitches. Bye bye. Hey everybody, I'm Steve and I'm Izzy, and this is everything, everything I, learned I learned from movies, movies. and tonight. Tonight! Like every night, we bring you <laughs> questionable movies and pass the lessons that we've learned on to you, as well as we go over some great beer and funny third thing. Yes, we're excellent beer reviewers, and as BJCP certified beer judges, we sort of know what we're talking about in regards to that. The movies? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to hear us talk about uh, odd movies and uh, is he talking about BJing? Woo! Uh, listen to us at eilfm.podbean.com. That's everything I learned from movies.podbean.com. Hey, honey, are you ready to pop that top? <sniffs> Woo! My top! And we're back, everybody. I was trying to interrupt, though. but I stopped because I saw him. I've got gummy bears and I've got mead. I need both after what just happened. Uh, Guys, we have a sponsor. Is it more? No, no, it's not yet. No. I forgot. I mean, I totally have the ginger eggs, everyone. Well, we can cut this bit out because it's not a Punisher record. Yeah, cut this bit out. Guys, we have a sponsor. Mm -hmm. This episode is sponsored by Turl's Manimal Crackers. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Beautiful. It could have also been sponsored by National Lampoon's Manimal House <laughs> and the novel Manimal Farm. They're making manimals. Right. So we, we just reviewed Battlefield Earth. We know what we thought of it. We can pretty much guess what the critics thought of it. What did you, what did, what did G.I. Joe Public think of it? I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Mark. No, no, my daddy. Mark thinks it was five stars. Fun alternative. <laughs> <laughs> to what? Slit in your throat. <laughs> yep, that is his review. Five stars, fun alternative. That's well, his whole well. review and one person found it helpful. <laughs> Who was that one person so I can find them and teach them they're wrong? I've not a fucking clue. Mark Siamese twin. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, in 2015, she said, five stars. It's Okay. That's not then the five don't star. give it five stars. <laughs> <laughs> this, I mean, this is a running theme through these reviews. There's like Matthew, like this movie, five stars. Gora, I liked it, four stars. B says fun, four stars. I like it was just these really short, really nothing reviews, mm. four and five stars. Totally not a Scientologist said I enjoyed this film immensely, five stars. Definitely so, not the Scientology intern. Say you like intern. this film and we'll give you some money. It wasn't the Scientology intern towards the end of the day. Definitely not. Brian, in 2015, gives it four stars and says in all caps, good imagination, with an A. <laughs> good imagination story. A bit overdone, but good. <laughs> four stars. And I'll just give you the title of this review because it was long. But this is the title of it. Trevi says, best cult film to follow from Blade Runner. Five stars. (laughs) Fuck off. What? Fuck off. You are wrong, my friend. (laughs) It's my reaction as well. Fuck it. Don't you dare (laughs) sully the name of Blade Runner the same fucking sentence or even screen as this film. Have you seen the first Blade Runner yet? Which version? 
There's like four or five different versions. Well, have you seen any of them? Yes. There you go. Okay. It's about time. <laughs> I'd love it if his answer was no. <laughs> yes. Which, one? Which, version? <laughs> Which one specifically of the many I haven't seen? <laughs> Guys. Yeah. Would you like to know why this movie was a full start? Go on then. I hope why it failed to spawn a sequel. Because it was shit. Beyond that. <laughs> The movie fucking they wouldn't hemorrhage money to it anymore. Beyond that, well, partly that. The movie cost seventy-five million dollars, as I keep telling you. And I, I, I imagine you're wondering, you know, where that money is on screen. Yep. No. Okay, fine. I won't tell you then. I won't tell you that thirty-one million definitely went somewhere because franchise pictures were sued for fraud and went bankrupt. <laughs> As a result of this film, or do we not? Know? As a direct result of this film, they said Fuck the movie costs now. seventy-five million dollars to make. Actuality, they only spent sort of forty-four million dollars on it. Still a ludicrous amount for what's on screen. Ridiculous amount. Thirty-one million dollars was unaccounted for. They were sued for fraud went bankrupt and that I mean that probably scuppered the plans for the proposed sequel a little bit that and the awful box office reaction and critical reception this movie had a worldwide box office of 29 million dollars worldwide three percent on Rotten Tomatoes I can't believe it got released to be quite frank well, in the state yeah. it's in Scientology they've got a lot of pull they get it released <laughs> when they mm. I guess yeah if they can get movies pulled they can get some released Roger Ebert called it unpleasant in a hostile way. <laughs> God, that's perfect. But but there was meant to be a sequel because this movie is only one half of the book it is based on. Really? Yeah. And they still dragged it out for two hours for half a book. The book is a is thousand a pages hobby? long. Fuck. This movie adapts the first 400 or so pages. Battlefield Earth would have seen all Battlefield Earth 2 rather the sequel that didn't happen would have seen all the leads return would have covered the next 600 odd pages of the 1000 page novel Travolta was dead presumably being based on the novel would have gone something like this <clears throat> in control of the earth but unsure if all the cyclos out there are dead the humans go up against a race of intergalactic bankers Looking to claim unpaid debts from Earth. And no, Douglas Adams didn't write the second half of the novel. <laughs> Stop. Stop. No. No. You're lying. The f fuck. You're lying. <laughs> Stop. The fuck is this? That's not true. Halfway through the novel, intergalactic bankers <laughs> come to claim unpaid debts from Earth. <laughs> And the Jedi Council do what? <laughs> <laughs> and the Vogons recite some poetry. <laughs> Fucking hell. May I continue? <laughs> do you want me to? Continue, but I don't believe you. <laughs> believe it, baby. Johnny Goodboy discovers the <laughs> secret to cyclomaths. <laughs> Which he, well, finds... he didn't learn it when he in the fucking learning machine. Don't tell Which me. he finds hard at first, because all their all their maths is based around the number eleven, due to their eleven fingers, <laughs> do they? <laughs> and eleven toes. I'm not sure they do in the movie. <laughs> like, this is so ludicrous. It's making me angry. I want to hit you. This is the I, second. I think I, I think I've got the ending though. This is the second half of the book. Okay. Keep going. But presumably. Like the first, the movie follows the book fairly closely, so presumably the second movie would have followed the book fairly closely. So he becomes an accountant, points out an irregularity <laughs> in their books, and they worship him. <laughs> would have been better. <laughs> oh, no, don't say that. <laughs> Keep going. With the help of Kerr, Forrest Whitaker, they repair a teleportation device and find that yes, all the other cyclos are dead. Johnny is essentially Cyclo Hitler. Mass genocide. And feeling guilty for wiping out all the cyclo race, they bring back some breath gas to keep Turl and Kerr alive. With his home world destroyed, Turl, being the last, you know, the highest ranking remaining cyclo, signs over control of the cyclo empire to Johnny, for whatever reason, 
and Johnny uses it to pay off the intergalactic bankers, <laughs> buy a force field for Earth, and orbital defense units to protect her from future threats. Johnny gets married, has a son, and they move to the wilderness where they live in peace. The end. <laughs> Battlefield Earth. Uh, help. To <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Elrond Hubbard. You fucking fuck. Fuck you, Elrond Half Elven. <laughs> Guys, would you like to see that on screen? No. No? <laughs> a gentle conversation with accountants. <laughs> and whoops, things are dead. Accountants. I, I have no words. I just have this ball of anger <laughs> that I can't direct to anyone. <laughs> it's not your fault. Elrond Hubbard's dead. <laughs> Who do I fucking kill? Who do I direct this at? Dan, Dan, the movie didn't happen, okay? <laughs> Mm. I mean, the book exists, but the movie didn't happen. And I know, but it exists. <laughs> yeah. And that's exactly how it would have went. And now it survives in your mind. Okay, so this, I mean, the sequel didn't happen for obvious reasons that we've been through. This, I mean, the stars were signed on and a release date was set. Travolta was super up for it. Do your accounts. <laughs> Do them. The movie had, the movie had, you know, was released with plans for a sequel and they were all killed. It was it was set to go up against no. The release date was for two thousand and three. Mm. So they, they wouldn't have to go up against uh the Clone Wars. Which, you know, they didn't want to compete with the Clone Wars. They didn't want to steal all of the, all of the Clone Wars money. Does the accountancy <laughs> council know of the accounting things? Anyway <laughs> that is why this movie is a full start. That is that was the failed sequel that never, never came to be. But what about the animated series? I hear you guys cry. <laughs> Fuck off. Also, I just want to say, I think that might be the worst actual sequel we've ever heard on this podcast. Oh, so definitely. Far. Absolutely. Fuck it. I want to break your phone. You, you say fuck off. The animated series that I've never alluded to before now. <laughs> Much like this movie. That's right, sweet cheeks. The Church of Scientology hired Tokyo-based animation studio Pinecom to make 13 one-hour-long episodes in an anime style. What the fuck? And you've seen them all? No, no. Why not? Because this Do didn't your research. This didn't happen either. <laughs> Initially reported by New Type magazine in number one in 2001, the animated series was in pre-productions. Grizzly Adams would have voiced Turl in the English version. Mm. Chow Yun Fat was being courted for the international. <laughs> he sounds Asian enough. Let's get him to do no, the, the man, Asian voice. The man's fucking good, Chow Yun Fat. Yeah, he is. He's really good. Uh, Doubt they knew that. As part of that same anime deal, Pinecom also received the rights to make a manga based on the series and an MMO video game. I'll let you guys guess as to why none of that happened. And we will move on. Just seething with rage onto our sequel pitches. Just silently sitting here in anger. <laughs> it makes for great podcasting when you're sitting there silently. They can so do angry. his pitch when he's angry. They can do his pitch when he's angry. Dan, do your pitch while you're angry. <laughs> Fuck off. Let the Fuck anger it. flow Leave through you. Just Feel off. your anger. Use it. Use it. Right. Do it. Do it. <laughs> so, my sequel. Okay, so there are a few aliens left on the planet. So, not just Turl and uh, whatever the fuck. Okay. And they are being hunted down without mercy. Because, you know, get off our planet. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we will see the remaining few aliens band together for one last stand. You know, to like, no, we can take Earth, and then they all die at the end. I like it. I like it. It's called Everybody's Dead. The title is The Battlefield and the Earth. <laughs> I went down the Fast and Furious route for naming that one. Okay. I wasn't sure not to call it that or Tokyo Drift. Okay. Why not Fate of the Earth? Because <laughs> yeah. you're not on eight yet. Two Battlefield, two Earth. <laughs> I was thinking two Battlefield, two Earth, but I'm going with the Battlefield and the Earth. Okay. There were two Earths all along. I'm just going to go clockwise. It's me. My sequel. So, 
the cyclones do come, but Johnny has leverage. <laughs> leverage? <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> and he shows it to them. He tells them that Turl is in Fort Knox and they can have him and the gold if they leave their people in peace. The Cyclo's orbital strike the planet, killing everyone and everything on it, because clearly we as a species don't deserve to live if this is our future. I like this common theme. <laughs> <laughs> and then the remaining Cyclo's open, their, open the doors of their spaceships to collect all the gold that's floating around, and they die in the vacuum of space <laughs> because they're stupid. <laughs> It all takes five minutes. There's no theatrical release. It's only ever sold as a bootleg because no one involved deserves to make money off of it. <laughs> and I'm calling it Battlefield Death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Brilliant. Yep. Ashley. Ash, I hope yours has the least effort of them all. Your sequel, it's got three please. pages. <laughs> it's got three pages. Four. Three a bit. There. All right. I'm going to drink my black cherry mead. Go for it. Roll for roll it, baby. This is called Battlefield Earth: Colon Beneath, because Planet of the Apes: Independence Day, second Planet of the Apes films was Beneath the Planet of the Apes, and the second Independence Day was Beneath Everybody in It, and the second Independence Day didn't include what would have been the best part of the film is the the spaceship in Africa that have been fighting mm -hmm. the Africans for all this time without us having seen it. So, deep under Africa, where the gold mines are, A. <laughs> sure. We see what we didn't see in Independence Day 2. A full-on human warriors with... Oh, yeah. <laughs> hang on. Yeah. Full-on human warriors with three tits and special aquatic breathing gear. Sure. <laughs> Uh, okay. Because it's the year 3000. <laughs> yeah, so no, I got that. War, fighting. War, war World and Total Recall. Okay. Fighting the Cyclones. Because, obviously, what happens is when you dig out enough earth in Africa, the earth gets lighter and starts flooding. Yes. Science. Astrology. <laughs> 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 so uh, the African Cyclones, they feel that Planet Cyclone gets destroyed obviously they lose contact with it maybe we see it in the sky like a red star and they start sending scouting parties throughout the world and they find um to find the other cyclone colonies on earth of which there are a number and they find the manimal colony um with johnny and co and they rock up guns blazing and they end up capturing the main characters and quote unquote rescuing forest whitaker now I'd forgotten all about what happened to Turl. I just hoped and thought he was dead. So <laughs> he is dead and they don't have to pay him. Blood loss. Yeah, blood His loss. arm cut off blood loss. Yeah, yeah. Humans don't know about cauterizing in the year 3000. No, and Stupid we also don't animals. know how cyclons live. So maybe his heart were in, was in his arm. Sure, that's right. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. That is right. And they take him... So the African cyclones take uh, Johnny and Co. back. I like how it's changed. This alien race name is changing every time you say it. Cyclones, cyclones, <laughs> cyclos, cyclops. Bison air blades. <laughs> right, so the, the African Calypsos take... <laughs> fuck. Take Johnny and Co. back to Africa and they, they begin collecting in the other colonies as well on Earth to create a new council and work out what to do now that Cyclone is gone. Um, they bring Forrest Whitaker in on this, but he's now keyed up on how cool the manimals are. And he starts helping them to rebel again. And eventually they break out. And as soon as they do, as soon as they attack, they're joined by the African um, manimals that we saw first thing in the film, fighting the cyclones. Um, and the humans are victorious. And we see them all join together in celebration. We see much whooping and hollering as the camera zooms out and we see huge Cyclone Calypso attack ships closing in on Earth. The end. Motherfuckers. You're setting up a third I'm setting up Earth a movie. third film. But wait, what's your title? Why? Battlefield Earth Beneath. Oh, yes. Yeah, Why? Title. Because you Why fucking do stop it. stop it too? You want to... <laughs> because... Yeah, but this is Battlefield Earth. <laughs> Look, I've now dealt with the battlefield that is Earth, and the humans have taken over and killed the majority of the Cyclone Earth leaders mm -hmm. who were forming a new council. 
but they didn't talk about the other colonies in space, the other planets. So now they're coming. Now it's Battlefield Earth in space. Well, no, it's still Battlefield Earth because they're going to fly on Earth. But then then the end oh, of the third yeah. film, we set up the fourth film, <laughs> which is when they oh, get God. on the spaceships. Oh, God, it's franchising. <laughs> Stop him now. Cut the, it. The animals get on the spaceships and they go to the other colonies and then they realise they can't breathe. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. That's it. That is the end. You guys... Listeners, you can vote for your favourite sequel on Twitter at Full Starts Pod. And tune in next time to find out who won. You can find us everywhere. You might usually find your podcasts. And join us again in a couple of weeks for our bonus episode on Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And now I'm going to hand over to Dan, who's in charge of the next episode. Dan! My, I am. My Twitter is Ash underscore Bronzebeard. No you can find one, me there. No one cares. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but so... I've been thinking about what I wanted to show you guys. If it's Ghostbusters, I'm going to fucking <laughs> brain <laughs> you. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's Green Lantern. Green Lantern's well, not a full star. It is. I've looked into it. I, I, I like Green Lantern. Yeah, I also looked into it and I found, a, yeah, I found stuff. Ooh, okay. It is a full star. It doesn't have a sequel. Yeah. Yeah, but that I couldn't find any planned... Would sequels. you like me to pull up the oh. thing that says failed franchise? Oh, there definitely <laughs> are planned star. sequels. and Because I can find it for you, my tell, friend. Tell me next month. I will tell you next month. But we are going to watch Green Lantern. I watched it recently. Again. So, do, you know what? What, do you know what I recently learned about Green Lantern? What? Fucking Taika Waititi's in it. Yes, what? he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one of we'll the... get there next month. Yeah. We'll get there next month. For now, listeners, thank you and good night. Bye. Yeah, he's how do you Or good friend. morning. Oh. I don't I don't know what time of day you're listening. Yeah. Adjust to your comfortable. I'm having to back up to be a little less loud. Back up, back up, then what you gotta do now? Back to the house. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Huh. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I fell over on the car to stop rolling. <laughs> oh, I'm so old. <laughs> when will the rolling end? <laughs>